Hello and welcome. Today I am going to share with you another business idea. This time it is going to be very simple, very easy to make, also very little investment. We are going to make bubble tea but using ice candy style. I would call it tube bubble tea. Ice candy is typically made with water and flavor, sometimes orange with water, pineapple with water, coconut juice, fruit salad, mango gram. Today I am going to make bubble tea ice candy and we're going to make Thai milk tea ice candy with tapioca pearl. Stay tuned until the end of this video clip and you can start earning from home. Ice candy, why is it a good business? Well, first of all, very little investment. All you need would be plastic bags like this, very cheap. This one comes in 100 bags, 15 pesos. And this one is the small size, 100 bags, 12 pesos. You don't need to invest in cups or bottles. Very easy to sell because they will be cheaper. Another reason is with ice candies, the shelf life is longer because these are frozen. Some of you have asked me, how do you extend the shelf life of bottled drinks? Well, this is not a problem with ice candy. Today, we are going to make a large batch. We are going to make five liter batch. In my book, All Things Milk Tea, you will find a recipe on how to make big batches of Thai milk tea. That is using the ingredients that I have in front of me. I'm going to use my premium Thai tea. If you haven't yet tried my blend, then please do. This is definitely better than most brands that are available in the market. I have spent years on perfecting this blend. So if you do have a chance, do give this a try. And then we are going to use other dry ingredients. I'm going to use white sugar or brown sugar. For today, I'm actually going to use brown sugar. And just to make it creamy, I'm going to use non-dairy creamer. We're going to use condensed milk, one can, which is about 300 grams. We are going to make use of evaporated milk, which is also one can, about 370 ml. The secret to this drink is the milk. You must use three types of milk. Condensed milk, evaporated milk, and non-dairy creamer. So it is definitely going to be a knockout. It's almost like an ice cream. Thai milk tea ice cream. For this, I'm going to use five liters of water. Bring it to a boil. Once it is boiling, add the tea. Stir to infuse the tea in the water. Turn off the heat, and we are going to steep this for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, the tea would have cooled down a little bit, strain, and make sure you squeeze all the tea out of the tea finings. Now let's add all our dry ingredients. We'll start with brown sugar, and then the non-dairy creamer. Stir to dissolve the brown sugar and the non-dairy creamer. Then add the wet ingredients. For the wet ingredients, it is condensed milk, one can, and finally, one can of evaporated milk. Now stir to dissolve everything and incorporate all the ingredients with the tea. And you should come out with a yield of about 5.5 liters. Make sure you taste the resulting mix. The sweetness level of your resulting mix should be enough to take it without adding any more ice because this is it. This is the finished product. Now I have my cool down Thai milk tea here and I have my tapioca pearls and I've already made a few here, about 30 bags of my ice candy, Thai milk tea ice candy. So I'm going to show you one or two so that you know how it is done. I'm going to try and make this as graceful as possible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first pour some of the Thai milk tea into my pitcher here with a spout because it will be a lot easier if there is a spout. Okay, and then I'm going to use a cup just to make sure that if there is any spillage, they will go into the glass and nothing will be wasted, okay? Two teaspoons of tapioca pearls. You can add more depending on your pricing point. And then make sure you hold the top. I think this is the way to do it. I'm sure that those that are making this on a daily basis will see how clumsy they look. I'm trying to be very graceful here. As you can imagine. So I'm just making an estimate here just slightly over the rim of my glass here and now to tie it up. I remembered when I was younger we used to sell ice candy at home but every time no one was looking I'd get one for my snack. Now my mom will find out. <laughs> okay there you go 
one bag of Thai milk tea ice candy. <sighs> okay, now all of these are bagged in ice candy bags and the yield is 60, 60 ice candies. And I am ready to keep this in the freezer and we are going to find out how to eat it later. But before we do that, let's look at the costing and how much should you sell this. Well, I'm going to use Philippine pesos because this is a popular dessert in the Philippines and also I would like to share this to all my Filipino friends out there, to all my Filipino viewers. This is a very good investment, very good business to do if you're looking for something new, something different to start with. I hope that this video clip will help you in getting there. Okay, so let's look at the costing. All prices are according to the prevailing prices in the Philippines. For the Thai tea, if you're going to use my blend, for 150 grams of Thai tea, the cost of that is 96 Philippine pesos. For brown sugar, assuming about 80 pesos per one kilogram, the total cost of 300 grams of brown sugar is 24 pesos. For Dan dairy creamer, 200 grams is about 50 pesos. For sweetened condensed milk, a premium brand, that's about 50 pesos. And for evaporated milk, one can is about 32 pesos. The total for six liters of Thai milk tea yield in the batch that I made today is 252 pesos. Now, we made 60 bags of Thai milk tea ice candy. The cost of the Thai milk tea alone based on 252 pesos for 60 bags is 4.2 pesos. Now, if you add tapioca pearls, you have to factor in the cost of your tapioca pearls. Let's say the cost of one in each of these bags about three pesos or five pesos that will cost quite a lot because the pure pearls are not cheap so it will make the costs about seven to eight pesos so i would say with a bubble tea in the ice candy bag you can probably sell this for about 20 pesos i mean i would get this for 20 pesos in thai baht that would be about um 13 14 baht and that's not a bad price at all because this Two of these would actually be equal to about 12 ounces cup of Thai milk tea. They are delicious and they are different. Very easy to eat as well. How do you eat it? Well, I suggest that you take it from the top here. You can bite this off the top or you can use scissors. Okay, I'm trying to be graceful so I'm not going to bite. And this is what it looks like. Mmm absolutely delicious. Now I need to see whether the tapioca pearl is chewable still when it is frozen like this. Oh wow! It is even better. So try this ice candy Thai milk tea flavored with tapioca pearls. Very easy to make, delicious and also you can sell this at a cheaper price and earn money from home. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, you can help support this channel by spreading the news, share this video to as many people as you can so that this will be accessible to many of those especially that are looking for a business idea. Another way to support this channel is to buy my books, All Things Milk Tea and The Basic Barista. These books are designed for those that are planning to start their own business in bubble tea and also coffee. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.